Hey there, YouTube. So, um, I have some pretty scary and concerning news for you guys that I'm still scratching my head about and something I never thought was even possible. As you know, I have been monitoring Yellowstone closely for a while, especially with the Montana Technical College size modes that they have. And the link is down in the description box under resources. I also have been monitoring the various ANSS stations littered throughout the country. I noticed on this day, November 28th, for Red Lodge, Montana, a strange tremor, a very large one, started to occur around 3 to 4 o'clock UTC. Notice how it's starting to get thicker right around that time? As of today, November 29th, 2017, at 13 UTC, the tremor is beginning to calm down a little bit. I began to check the neighboring long period seismographs just to confirm that this tremor was actually occurring and this is not a glitch or malfunction or surface noise or whatever. Notice here in Bozeman it started around the same exact time as well. And here in Bozeman it started to diminish around the same time as well, showing that this is indeed a tremor coming from underground. And notice here as well in Missoula, this is also a long period graph. This is the strongest long period tremor I actually personally have ever seen. Look at how large that is. Look at that. Now here's when things get a little scary. You can see, see it started to diminish today as well around the same time, though this is a little bit stronger here. The thing that's scary is this tremor started around 4 o'clock UTC, November 28, 2017, and continued strong till about around 13 UTC on November 29th. Now this tremor was felt the strongest around the Pacific Northwest and possibly Western Montana and especially South Alaska. But what I'm about to tell you may seem impossible, but this tremor was felt from southern Alaska to Virginia. This is not a joke, as you will see a little bit ahead in the video. This same tremor was felt on over 60 ANSS stations and all long period graphs from Montana Tech through a, almost a 3,000 mile distance. This is not a joke. What in the living hell could do something like this, really? Like, I've never ever thought this was even possible for the same type of tremor to be felt from southern Alaska all the way down here to Virginia that's almost 2,800 miles almost 3,000 miles so this is Red Lodge Montana as well you can see it's long period but the ANSS station so I decided to check all the long period ANSS stations See the time of increased activity? Remember how it was around 3 to 4 o'clock? See that? The thickening of the lines right there? All this background activity. Just forget about that right there. That's an earthquake. But all this background activity, all those little jagged edges, the bold lines. See the lines, how they get thicker around the same time? See how the increase of activity increases around the same time here as well? This is Missoula, which is right here. There's Missoula. There's Bozeman. There's Red Lodge, Montana. There's Yellowstone right there. There's Mount Rainier's right here. Here's Neilton Lookout. There's Newport, Washington. There's Hanford. So you can kind of get a gist of where these locations are. But this seems to be the place where the tremor was felt the strongest. Notice this is Southern Alaska right here. And here's the graph right here. You can see the date and the times above when it's when this graph started. Notice the increase of activity at the same exact time as Red Lodge, Montana, Missoula, and Bozeman. Well, this was felt on over 60 stations. Almost the entire northern portion of the United States felt this. So, I mean, those are, that is quite a large tremor. And here's the coast of Washington State right here. There's Seattle, and this is Neilton Lookout. And here's Neilton Lookout's graph for November 28, 2017. Notice the increase of activity around the same time? You see that? Now each graph will show a little bit of difference of the time of increased activity, but that is most likely due to distance and sensitivity. But they all show an increased activity around the same times. Now here's the location for Newport, Washington. And here's the graph for Newport, Washington at the same time as well. Notice again around 3 or 4 o'clock UTC on November 28, 2017, there was a large increase as well. And you can see the waveforms look very similar to that of up in southern Alaska. All right, now this will blow your mind. Check this out. Now remember, a lot of these graphs are usually blank during the day, except when global earthquakes appear. 
Every once in a while, it'll show background activity, but this is the first time that I've seen 60 stations show the same tremor beginning around the same time and ending around the same time. Now, check this out. This is Michigan. See that? That is northern Michigan, and this is going to be Grayling, Michigan. It does not show the exact same waveform, but you can definitely see a large increase of activity during the same exact time. Yeah, whatever's going on, it was felt in Michigan as well. Now, check this out. This is even crazier. Now, I wanted to show you, here is Virginia, right here. It's going to be Corbin, Virginia, which is just south of Washington, D.C., on the East Coast, which is about 2,800 miles away from southern Alaska. Now, check this out. This is Virginia for the same day as well, for November 28th, starting at 3 o'clock UTC on the 28th. Look at that. You see the increase of those tremors, those background tremors right there? And look, it started around the same exact time. All the way in Virginia. This is not a joke. The same tremor was felt from southern Alaska to almost 2,800 miles away in Virginia. What? Are you crazy? Like, what? How? How? I, I, I don't care how big a volcano is. It cannot create a volcanic tremor like that. I mean, what is going on? Is the entire United States just one big volcano ready to go? I, I, personally, I have no idea what could cause the signal to be shown 3,000 miles away. I, 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 I'm really shocked. I, I really, really legitimately am shocked and concerned. I really am. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe this is not connected to Yellowstone, but maybe something way bigger than Yellowstone is going on. Maybe a large earthquake is approaching, maybe a new volcano is forming. God knows what, but this is definitely not normal to be felt on over 60 stations, over a 3,000 mi 3, mile radius is just nuts. Now let's go back to Red Lodge, Montana on the 29th, which is the day that it started to calm down. Notice again, it started to calm down right around here. There's no definite time that it started to diminish, but I'm gonna say, let's just say around 13 UTC. So remember that. Now keep that in mind. Remember around 12 to 15 UTC is when it started to calm down. Keep that in mind, because the next graphs that I'm going to be showing you are the same ANSS stations that I was just showing you except for the next day when the tremor was calming down. So if all of these from southern Alaska to Virginia are the same tremor, we should see them start around the same time and diminish around the same time. So let's check it out. Now these are the graphs, the ANNS graphs, during the same time period the tremors were decreasing. Remember, keep in mind they all seem to diminish around the same time. So again, 60 monitors from Alaska to Virginia, almost a 3,000 mile distance, all showed an increase of activity and a decrease of activity during the same exact times, therefore showing that they all picked up the same vibrations. I am generally freaked out about this, so please, someone help me understand what could cause such a large vibration that could be picked up on virtually all long period graphs for the entire northern continental United States. See how the thickening of the line started to dissipate around the same time? See the decrease of activity around the same time as well? How the lines were thick up here and they're starting to thin out? Some southern portions of the United States, such as California, Arizona, and Texas, barely picked the signal up. But those are around pretty much the only places that didn't pick this up. Could this be related to the large booms people have been hearing lately? You know, it is possible this could be originating from a supervolcano or some massive magma chamber underneath the crust. But if it were, this volcano would have to be the size of the entire portion of eastern Washington state. Remember this in Alaska? Notice how the tremors are starting to diminish around the same exact time as well that was picked up in Montana and Washington and Virginia, everywhere. I'm still extremely worried and perplexed that this is even possible. But if you would like all the raw data associated with this event, please email me at the address provided in the description box below. See again here, the background activity started to decrease around the same exact time. That's not a coincidence. So I do encourage everyone to look into this as much as possible because this is not normal activity no matter what anybody tells me. This is not normal. I emailed the USGS about this, by the way. 
So when or if they reply, I will upload an update video about these tremors. Even if they don't reply, I'm still going to upla upload an update because it's very concerning. Yep, see here in Virginia how it started to calm down around the same exact time? Yep. Also, I will stay on top of this just in case this happens again. Is a new volcano about to appear or is an extremely large earthquake approaching? Who knows? Also, I will be uploading a video soon of the activity at Old Faithful during these long period tremors. It was pretty crazy. A large venting going on. I mean, it was just going off the charts. Stay tuned for more updates and God bless. And let's hope that we can figure out what this was. Because again, this was built on over 60 monitors from southern Alaska to Virginia, showing an increase of activity near the same time and a decrease of activity during the same time. Now, I'm not going to show each 60 stations on here because I'll just make way too long of a video. But again, if you like all the raw data associated with this event, just email me at the email address in the description box below. Thank you much for watching, and let's hope this doesn't happen again or lead to anything. And God bless, and stay tuned for more updates.